Warning, there is a part of the video where I use a lighter and took precaution when using it, if you are a minor or never touched a lighter before. Don't do what I do without assistance of a parent or guardian, this is for your own protection too. Prevent injuries and dangerous consequences. Hi my dolls, today I'll be showing you on how I make my doll's hair. First you will need your doll base and yarn for the hair. With the yarn strand, measure the length of what you want for your doll's hair to be. Once you have the length, begin folding each strand and sew them together into a bunch. After making your bunch you sew both sides to create a mini wig for your doll and then pin it to the center of the head to stay out where you will sew the yarn to the head. If you do not want bangs you can skip this part of the video, but if you do want bangs continue watching. When doing the hair, you can add bangs to the hair by having 10 yarn strands in the front. Those yarn strands will be cut and braided by your fingers or an embroidery needle. Straightening out the yarn with a straightening iron, brush with a bristle brush and then trim to make the edges clean. I use this trick of brushing the yarn out by watching one of Hexton's videos when showing how he if she makes the doll's hair. Go check out Hexton's channel, he if she is very talented. For the rest of the hair, will be cut, and braided, straightened, brushed, and trimmed on each side. If you want a curly texture, you can leave the hair and braid it which can look like as if the doll has curly hair. If you desire a doll's hair to be straightening you can do this process, I just showed and it's your choice to wanting to style it more or keep it simple. To style the hair, I use a photo reference of what hairstyle I like to make. For instance, this doll is for a client who requests the doll to look like Melanie Martinez in her crybaby MV. So I separate two hair strands for each side in the front for her baby hairs, then parted her hair into two sections to brush then make two braids. Once the braids are complete, use a hot glue gun to keep the braids attached to the head. For the baby hairs, sew them on each side of the face to keep in place. If the side hairs are too long, don't cut it. Brush it out to lessen the hair strand to make it look more natural. For the final touches, I use a black ribbon to make the two bows for her braids. I use one section of the ribbon to measure out how much I need for the doll's hair. Cut it. And make the second piece easily. Sometimes ribbons tend to fray and there are many ways of fraying a ribbon. However, I like to use a lighter to burn the edges of the ribbon to easily prevent fraying from happening. With your ribbons secure from fraying, you can easily tie them around the braids with no worries. Lastly we sew the ribbons to the hair so the bow won't untie itself. After working into bridal shops, sewing extra details is essential to make sure the final product looks perfect as possible. And then you're done, thank you for watching my videos, I'll see you dolls in the next one, by my dollies. Message me on Soon Craft Shop on Etsy for a custom order.